Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. Today we're going to be going over DP Festival of Witches and Drills and Chills 2021. Uh, Cassia from Diamond Art Club. It's my witch. So um, I put a picture of her up at the beginning of the, the thing and then we'll get right to getting working on her. I worked on a new way of presenting so hopefully you'll enjoy this. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you'll stay. I know I'm kind of jumping right to things. Um, and if you're coming back, welcome. Thank you for coming back. I really appreciate all you guys. If you would please subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up button, uh, all that good jazz. I'd really appreciate it. I like your comments. I, they really make my day go round. So anyways, let's get right to it, shall we? Here we go. Okay, peeps, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to section out, uh, cut the section out of plastic that we're going to work on. So I'm taking a ceramic cutter and I am cutting along the edge of the washi tape in between the two pieces of washi tape. Um, using cover minder, I'm setting it back and holding the plastic out of my way. Um, I am utilizing a wax pen uh, pencil for the first time ever I had just ordered these off of Amazon um, I want to say about mm, a month and a half two months ago but I hadn't gotten to an occasion of using them yet um, I hadn't seen a reason to but with this many a B's and just starting off the canvas and not having um, any used or non so sticky wax in my multi placers I went ahead and opted to use the wax pencil and I've got to say it mm, it does take a little getting used to and it is doable it's just not my preference yeah um there are points where I'm using it and it's not that sharp, um, not that much to a point. So it's um, kind of grabbing the, the drills here and there and not placing them as evenly. I'm finding I'm using a lot of time with my um, straightener. And also, I, uh, I found when I tried to get it too sharp, then it was too much of a point and it didn't have enough of a grab for the drills. So it was a, a little bit of a, a, a learning curve. You don't want it too sharp, you don't want it too dull. Um, yeah, I don't know, they're okay. What do you think, have you tried them? Do you like them? I mean, to me they're all right. Uh, I'd much rather go ahead and Next time I'll just wait and do my ABs after I've gotten my other ones done so that I can just use my non-sticky wax. You know, the wax that's just a little bit used and not quite so grabby. Um, less likely to pull out of the multi-placers or uh, pull up the finish of the AB drills. But anyways, um, so originally I had I had just recorded this and I was talking and talking and talking and I had recorded about I don't know an hour hour and a half and my son called and I realized that it was much later in the day that I had anticipated um, I had lost track of time diamond painting and if you're anything like me you know that's so easy to do so anyways we were having dinner and I'm sorry for the sound of cars and stuff going by but I'm enjoying some time outside in the sun while doing this voiceover I um I spent a lot of time getting this video uh edited through and snipping out all of the sounds of um not the sounds excuse me i'm sorry obviously not the sounds because i took the sounds out but i snipped out all of the parts where it was just me uh getting new drills put into my trays or uh in between switching between placers or or basically there was dead screen so that way it would be more entertaining for you guys and less 
time consuming uh, for you to see the progress actually happening. So um, I found out that each section of this canvas takes me roughly an hour and a half to do. I did roughly one whole section before my son called and I decided that while that was probably good enough to release on its own, I wasn't that happy with it. So um, the next section that I did, and this, this video recording does cover both sections. Um, the next section I did, I couldn't do a talk while doing it. I couldn't do a chat while doing it. Um, it was done during the weekend while all the kids were home and um, unfortunately I was unable to keep it quiet enough to record without having to take away the sound. And I live on a very busy street. But anyways, my street is busy and I'm sorry for the sound of cars, but I just wanted to be outside where it was nice. I've spent so much time inside um, during the day doing recordings and diamond painting. And then at night I'm busy either sleeping or driving, um, busy working. So it doesn't leave much time for me to enjoy the outdoor weather. So I hope that you will bear with me and give me some grace and understand why all the background sounds are here but anyways back to my story about my son calling so i don't know if any of you remember me talking about how old he is but he just celebrated his 22nd birthday so in my mind i'm thinking definitely old enough to be having responsible drinks and hopefully you guys will all agree with me or at least agree enough to agree that it's his decision, he's of a right age to make that decision. And um, personally, I, I think that it's a rather responsible decision that he makes to um, go somewhere like here at my house and have a few drinks and hang out. He doesn't really go to parties. He doesn't go to bars. He doesn't really do anything like that. So um, I feel pretty pretty happy with the decisions he's making as far as that goes um he's he seems to be doing responsible decisions but anyways back to that uh story uh we were having a few drinks here at the house um and we decided on some jaeger and we were having those few drinks and we had um gotten Panda Express for dinner that night because I had gotten busy uh, diamond painting and didn't have anything planned for dinner um, with knowing that I was just going to be diamond painting and doing recordings all day. So my son and his girlfriend were, yeah, down for coming over and hanging out, having Panda Express and a few drinks and, um, they just hung out and played video games with the kids and um, had a few shots with me and my husband. And well, see, she didn't. His girlfriend didn't. She doesn't drink, but Daryl did. Daryl had a few drinks. Um, and it was just a really good night. Um, not much eventful happened. We just hung out and talked and were present with one another and enjoyed each other's company. You know, nothing extreme or eventful, but it was good. It was definitely the stuff my life is made out of. Um, and then Saturday, <clears throat> let's see, I uh, I tried to do some diamond painting. Um, I got around to doing maybe about 45 minutes worth of diamond painting that day. And um, I had... Uh, oh goodness, I had shopping to do that day, and um, I don't know if you're familiar with Costco, but 
Costco is a big warehouse type store and Costco is where I go to buy things sometimes. Um, usually, hopefully, no more than once a week. Um, a lot of times it's more than once a week, but hopefully no more than once a week. But I had to go to Costco. Um, I had to go to Costco specifically that day because we were having a lasagna that we buy from that Costco. So it was imperative that I make it there that day without fail and um, everything else had to wait until that was done. So yeah, I uh, didn't get much done as far as diamond painting goes on Sunday or Saturday, excuse me. Um, and then Sunday was pretty much close to the same deal. I got a little bit done in the morning, but then I ended up, um, doing a lot of edit, editing of videos and getting things done that way. So, um, this video has sat here waiting to be finished and be put out for everyone for a couple of days now. And I do apologize um, but I'm getting to it as quickly as I can. I'm, I'm trying my best to maintain a schedule of one video a day. Um, and I'm trying to get a hold of companies to secure, um, discounts for you guys for different products and different things. And I'm also trying to get a hold of products for giveaways, whether that be either products that companies are willing to either give me or possibly give me at a discounted rate. Um, I'm looking for that or just like the Lays and Lathe work pen um, was not free for me. It was not discounted for me. It was a full price item that I paid shipping for and everything. Um, and, um, I do have other Lays and Lathe work pens that I have that I will be doing giveaways of soon as well. Um, I don't know. Did you guys see the video I did yesterday, um, of the, uh, Wilson 3D design giveaway box unboxing? Uh, she sent me a whole bunch of stuff that she was gonna let me use as giveaway products. And that's super exciting. If you haven't seen that video, check that one out. Um, that one's pretty informative. It'll show you the items and that'll give you an idea of some stuff that we're gonna be giving away. Uh, some really cool suggestions or comments from you guys would be what you'd wanna see from that box group together as giveaways. Um, I don't know which items I should put in what group, uh, to do as giveaways. I also have a couple of cover minders that I'm going to be doing as giveaways. And then I have, um, a company, Flossom Crafter. Um, it's done a couple of videos on kitting up their, uh, their storage systems and using their um, Aurora Borealis index cards, labels, whatever you want to call them, stickers. But um, they're going to send me a Diamond Art Club Aurora Borealis storage drill system. Um, so look for that coming out soon too. Uh, when I get that in the mail, I will do an unboxing of it. I don't know how soon it will take to get that. I know that when she messaged me, she was not even home. She was on vacation. So I'm thinking at least a week or two before she gets home and gets around to even getting that gathered up for me. And then whatever time it takes to actually get it shipped and receive it. So thinking two, three weeks minimum before I even have any news on that. So, but yeah, I look forward to seeing that unboxing hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And then um, what I've decided to do is 
since I didn't have the time or the ability to go through and edit every single video to this extent because this took a long time and um, I know that each section would take about an hour and a half to do so I know that talking through each section would be long episodes and while I do have some fan base I do have some subscribers that will absolutely watch my videos and thank you all of you that are sticking through and watching all of them to the end um, watching them this far I do appreciate you I think it's amazing that you are sticking it out with me kudos thumbs up to you appreciation from me but anyways I still don't think that it's necessary to have that many videos of this canvas being done so I have done <clears throat> excuse me one two three four sections since then um, since this video has been done um, well not done but these sections were done anyways um, between doing them and doing the voiceover now anyways so my goal is to complete um, a minimum of one section a day I need to complete a uh, minimum of one section a day with seven sections that have to be done in a double day in order for this canvas to be done in time. So, and with my other work schedule and workload, um, that's obtainable, but absolutely have to stay on it and stick to it. Otherwise it will get away from me. So, um, definitely getting down to the nitty gritty, so to speak, and doing it, um, without fail, whether I feel like it or not. Um, the thing is, is that I just don't feel like recording and talking every time I do diamond painting, cause that's not how I enjoy the process. Sometimes it's nice to record it and do some talking, but mostly I just like to do my diamond painting um, and enjoy the process of just being one with the canvas and zenning out, so to speak. Um, I know that I like to listen to other YouTubers while I diamond paint. I like to listen to what's going on in my household and to just be present um, with my diamond painting and enjoy the whole process that way. So a lot of my videos probably will be sped over voice voiceover progressions like this one so that you can see the piece being done and I'm getting some recording done, but that way I'm not sitting there trying to talk through the whole thing because I just, um, I can't seem to make a go of it. I just can't seem to do it. Hopefully we'll get to the point where we'll have enough subscribers and enough view time soon where I can start doing some, um, live whip and chats. Um, I think that that would actually be, um, preferable cause then I can sit there and, um, be doing it and hear, um, well, not really hear, but read the comments coming in and be able to change up what I'm saying based on the conversation flow, which will help and will help it not be so stagnant and help me not get lost. But I do want to thank you guys for sitting with me for the video. We're at the end now. Much love. Bye.